Well, you're always guaranteed, with the likes of MMA, you're always guaranteed cuts, and they're always there, like, and vice versa. Fights have been stopped for stupid cuts that, if a cut man had been there, they would have continued. Um, but it's the, it's the safety aspect of it, like, it's coming on leaps and bounds, like, um, say, not enough things to do, that's to Joe Clifford, like, he's definitely been behind the whole thing, and he has pushed it forward, like, in the last probably three to five years, like, it's come on leaps and bounds, and it has more, more organised, more sanctioned, more safety aspects because of what Joe's doing. Uh, Joe Clifford and Kutzman have come on board with the shows, but before that, it was a big, a big thing, you know, in the shows, in my own shows. You hadn't got guys were trying to go in there with a, a towel trying to stop bleeding and sticking a half tub of Vaseline onto a cut, not knowing, you know. But it's changing, and with a lot of the a lot of the main clubs will not fight in it on a card now unless just proper qualified cuts men, not just two lads out of a gym with a with a, a bag of ice and, and a thing of Vaseline, proper qualified trained cuts men. So we use Joe Clifford and Irish cuts men. When you're on the bigger stage, everything's organised. When you work on shows at national level, it's anything but organised. It can be chaotic. Don't get me wrong, there are national shows, uh, some uh, events, and any cult man would work some events where they're extremely organised, amateur events, that is. But equally, you can go, I could be working a show the week after, and I could be extremely disorganised, where the cult man would actually help with... Um, you know, clearing around the cage for EMTs, paramedics, and etc., etc., and also would probably help if there was an injury in the actual cage itself or in the octagon. Uh, we'd assist probably the paramedics and the medical teams and stuff like that and help them to evacuate the, the, the fighters. We'd be backstage as well, we'd help kind of, we'd work as the commission backstage in terms of bandages, bandage length, making sure the coaches are, are putting everything on as they should be. on the show you know you need to have a doctor the doctor works with the cuts crew they, they all know each other we use the same the same guys cold blue i think they call it we yeah. use them for, for glenn so the, the guys all get to know each other so when you go to have a show it's professionally run the cuts crew the doctor the medic the, the ambulance crew they all know each other they all know the score they know when to work together you know, so uh, in our on the amateur scene currently in Ireland, we, we have a good setup, but depending on the promoter themselves. For example, I can arrive at a show and I'm met by the Cuts team, uh, Joe Clifford would meet me, and then we would have myself, my own medical doctor on site, would have a pre fight meeting before we start any medicals. So, from that perspective, it's a good system that's operated, but the, inf the downside of that is that that's not on every show. It's only through a couple of the promoters are utilising the full services of Code Blue, the Cutman team as well, uh, which, which needs to be improved. In my own opinion, there is no there needs to be a minimum qualification and licensed qualification ringside at all events, irrespective of what's going on in the ring, and the equipment has to reflect that level of training ringside. At all those who work under the banner of Cutman have completed an eight-hour Cutman course, work for two years under supervision with a senior Cutman. At entry level, every Cutman has four stout and wound care as a minimum requirement to work either ring or octagon side. So we have the show up and running. We have a proper cutsman that works with safe MMA. Works with the doctor. So they all know what to use and not use. And for me, for my fighters, or me running the show, I couldn't do it any other way. I couldn't get someone in not knowing what was going on. So when I know that my battle zone is under safe MMA, I know that the cutsmen are with the safe MMA, the doctors are doing the safe MMA reports and filling stuff in. The cage has to be cleaned to a certain specific specifics from, from safe MMA and all the fighters are blood tested and medically fit. Cutman does not endorse, advise or supply any of its cutmen women with any dangerous drugs. For example, the adrenaline one is to 1000, but rather uses natural alternatives which are safer and just as effective in their application and use to stop bleeding. Adrenaline at 1 in 1000 is a highly concentrated drug. If that gets into the bloodstream, it can cause severe tachycardia on a fighter, which in turn then, if there's any abnormalities, any cardiac abnormalities, that's unknown at this point can cause a fire to go into cardiac arrest. So there are alternative agents out there to use to control bleeding, but we seem to have this dogma that this is being used for so long, this is the correct drug of choice going forward. It needs to be, it's where we come from pre-hospital, all our evidence comes of how we treat patients basically comes from the war. Afghanistan gave us huge evidence of bleeding control, brought back tourniquets, uh, brought back hemostatic agents, uh, and, and basically showed survival rates. We haven't looked at ringside medicine, octagon medicine, 
uh, fighting medicine at all to say what's working and what's not working. We need to do evidence-based medicine to identify the products and the training that will actually work. Uh, Liver Night, there are a lot of ignorance out there. There's lots of rumours and old rubbish practices that are getting propagated and passed on and we need to get rid of those to move again to move away from adrenaline towards um, natural remedies uh, I think that's all for the good because sooner or later what's going to happen is is with things like adrenaline you're going to get a government body come along and say how are you using this very powerful drug that you could kill someone with and we're not going to let you do that anymore and then what will happen is you'll end up with paramedics in the corner and that won't be better for the fighters because the cut men have got this have got all this experience and all this knowledge but they've been allowed to run away for so long and do whatever they like and that has to change we need to tidy it up we need to get proper protocols in place and push this thing forward into the 21st century so that's the way that we do it education